niggas niggas die. Die. How do you focus on your vulnerability? It's not something you focus, it's something you allow. You know, you have to allow yourself to be wrong because there's nothing wrong with being wrong. You know, again, it's just a matter of fact that uh, you have convinced yourself that you have something to defend or protect or something to prove or something to hold. That's you. That's When you get triggered, that shit is personal. And I'm telling you, that has been some of the most mentally you know changing things that he, he made this point that you know it's not your responsibility for how somebody feels so over time what we get trained to do is sugarcoat how we what, what we truly want to say or beat around the bush for what we want to say because we know it may make a person feel worse or it might make an uncomfortable situation or they might not like what we had to say and in reality that is not normal that's not normal because it leads to inauthenticity. So now you're inauthentic for the sake of maintaining that relationship. When in reality, it will make the relationship stronger to test if you can be authentic and if they can deal with it. Because guess what, chat? It's very healthy for you to say, I don't want to go. I'm tired. I don't feel like going. I know it's the family reunion. I don't feel like going. I don't want to come to the cookout. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't want to go. That's normal and that's healthy. But when you say, I have to go, I don't want them to feel no kind of way and think it's weird. Now you're bringing a fake, you're bringing a, a version of you that doesn't want to be there. Easier to have, to bear negative emotions towards the people you're being around. You know, that, that opens the door for a lot of negative shit. Meanwhile, you leave with that authenticity. You let go of the responsibility to try to please the other person. You let go. It's never was meant to be your responsibility. It's something that was trained to you as a child that you have to heal and work on. Something that I became conscious of. And even when communicating to say, you know what? You know what the best thing to do is, Chad? You know what the ideal thing to do is? You have just your responsibility to control how you say it, what you say, why you're saying it, and, and, and your actions as an individual. It's not your responsibility for how that person feels. It's also your responsibility to say what's most true to you. Cougar Killer, I appreciate the 12 months. <laughs> you know, I, I can't control. I can't control how it makes you feel. But maybe I can say it better. You know, I don't have to yell it. I don't have to make it aggressive. And maybe I can set the tone, you know, and say. Hey, I have to say this. You might not like this, but I need to say it because I can't ignore my truth. And then you say what you want to say. You know, if that makes you feel better, you could be as cold to just say it as it is. But it is your responsibility to say what's most true to you. Because, chat, let's be honest. Guess we all know what happens when we don't speak our mind, when we don't say what's true to us. We like leave with this, this heavy, uncomfortable feeling. We, we leave with it still on our heart. In our mind, it, it, it like rots. It eats us alive. We all know what that feel like, bro. We all know what it's like when we just dodge the bullet or we beat around the bush. We all know what that shit feel like. That shit is unhealthy. It, it, it weighs on you. And the argument that the psychologist was making is that that was never your responsibility to put yourself in that position. Your responsibility is to say what's most true to you. Guess what, chat? This can, it's a win-win situation. I'm going to tell you the reasons that make the most sense to me. When you say what's most true to you and you're wrong, there's only one way to find out. By being wrong. And you can't be wrong unless you set, speak up. If you're wrong, then you can be corrected. Now you're better because you're closer to the truth or or, or now you have a, a moment of improvement. So, okay, let's say you speak up and you were actually wrong. How you going to know you're wrong until you speak up? Number two, you have something worth saying. That the other person does not know and they need to hear. You don't do them any service not saying it because it is true to you. So you never make it any less true by ignoring it. I'm telling you, when you think about standing on business and speaking up, it's a win-win situation, really. And, and, and that discomfort you feel and in, in, in inability to do it and, and avoid doing it, it's not healthy. It's been trained to you since a child because, again, you've made it a responsibility to, to deal with people's emotions. And, and mind you, emotional intelligence is not about manipulating and dictating people's emotions. 
it's about being conscious and aware that it's, it's better ways to say the same thing. But you can never ignore the truth of what you have to say. Like like some things are just, it is what it is. Uh, personally, you know, it bothers me when you when you call me that name. Pers I, I don't like that, to be honest. Oh, come on, man. It's just a nigga. No, no, but you can't tell me how to feel about it. I don't like it. That's a very healthy conversation right there. It's not an argument. It's not being disrespectful. It is, and, and it really should expose... Maybe the other person didn't know you felt that way. Maybe they don't deserve to even be around you if they're not going to respect what you want to, how you want to be treated. Win-win situation, chat. It's a win-win situation. No, for real, this is a real helpful topic. I'm glad, you know, it, it gave me epiphanies and, and moved me in a way I wanted to bring it to y'all. See what y'all thought about it. You know what I'm saying? Because being unapologetically authentic, we kind of put this narrative on it that another person being uncomfortable is a bad thing. Being wrong is a bad thing. Being rude is a bad thing, or or, or being uh you know the, the balloon popper in the room. Oh, here come the mood killer. Well, how about it? It needs to be said. It's worth saying. That's what I've truly began to accept about being honest. Chat. It's worth saying. It's worth it. Oh, this person ain't gonna like it, but it's worth it. Oh, they gonna feel this kind of way. It's worth it. It's worth it. Think about how the fact we could literally get to a society where. We are not mature enough to to give people the freedom to feel how they want to feel. Think about that, chat. You bite your tongue. You beat around the bush. You just neglected that person's ability to, to deal with what you, how you feel. Or, or to, you know, accept it or reject it or, or say, fuck you. I'm away. It only takes time because you're not allowing yourself to be authentic. I tell you, it's it's literally something you let go. Like, fuck it. I got to say it. Like, fuck it. Mom, yo, you know what I've also understand, chat? You know what I also understood? I literally said this to my own mother. I put it on my life. I literally asked her. I said, do you want me to listen or do you want my true opinion? Why? Because, again, I'm not going to, I'm not going to just force what I have to say. You know, I, I asked her. I, I genuinely asked her. And that was one of the most healthiest moments for me as an adult, bro. It's to literally let it be known that I feel a certain way on a topic that was being discussed. And 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 once she said yes, what I had to say was it had to be accepted or not. You know what I'm saying? I just knew I had to let it out. It, it, it's most honest to me. I'm You have to literally learn and teach yourself, chat, that if it's true to you, it's worth it's worth being said. Why? Because we all agree that when you ignore it, that shit eats you alive. It sits on your mind. It doesn't go away. So you gotta do something about it. African parent won't have that until you change it. You know why I feel like our parents haven't been able to deal with it or accept it? Because they couldn't do it to their parents. And then their parents couldn't do it to their parents. And, and mind you, you know why y'all say such and such parent won't have that? Because maybe they have so much trauma built up that their defensiveness and their inability to be vulnerable and, and change the cycle of like that parent-child relationship has never been challenged. It's very uncomfortable and difficult. And what you might see is that by you challenging it, they are so far gone. It's like, fuck, holy shit. You know what happens then? You start to see... God damn, I see where I get my problems from. And God damn, I'm seeing the root of the problem. And, and, and God damn it, I see I don't want to become that. So it'll, it'll be a, an enlightening moment for everybody. Hopefully for everybody. But for you, you you might see it played out. I told you that girl I was on the phone with and her ego started tripping. And she was so triggered. It allowed me to sit back and just listen. It, it allowed me to sit back and say, because this is what you realize. When something triggers a person, it's personal. I can say the same statement and 10 people feel 10 different ways. So it's very personal when somebody gets triggered. There's nothing you can control about that. All you can do is speak on what is and allow them that freedom. Because guess what, chat? It's a mutual thing. Let's say I keep it real, right? This is what I wanted to say before the ads came on. Let's say I keep it real. I'm honest about something that makes me very uncomfortable or, or it, it just needs to be said, but it's true to me. 
at that point in time, I now allow the other person to say what's true to them. Let me give an example. Let me give an example, right? I'm dressing a certain way. And they, you know what's crazy? People have no problem showing you no mercy, but you always supposed to be the person that bites your tongue. Fuck that shit. I'm dressing a certain way. They feel some kind of way. They insert their opinion. You know what? That's their right. They, that's their right. That's their responsibility. They can they can genuinely tell me what's most honest to them. I don't like them clothes. I don't like how you're dressing. Respectfully, they can do that. That's their. They can do that. I can't stop them from doing that. But guess what? They can't stop me from saying, I don't give a fuck. That's my right too. My right, I can, I can ask why. Why don't you? I, I, I can say, fuck you. That's my right too. And I can also say, Thank you for telling me. You know, I don't have to be triggered. I don't have to be defensive. I don't. There's nothing to defend. Why do I? Why do I feel the need to protect and defend myself? I, I accept what I'm doing. I stand on it. That's all right with me. And if it's not all right with that other person, it's a very mature place to sit back and say it triggered them because of what they personally think, not what I think because of what's personal to them. So it had nothing to do with you. You know, when a person get triggered, it's very you gotta realize how personal it is. It had nothing to do with you. It's nothing to do with you at all. It triggers them based on what's personal to them. Not your responsibility to deal with that. Not your responsibility to, to avoid it, to be afraid. It, it's, it's none of you. It literally is none of your business. It might even trigger some growth in them if when you start being authentic. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, Jeff. I'm just thinking about these things. I find them interesting. I, I find that it made me think differently. I find, I find that it made me look at things differently. If it has to, y'all, let's have a discussion about it. You know what I'm saying? I find this shit interesting. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? This is what y'all think about it. And again, I know it can be ugly. I gave y'all an example. I literally was having a conversation with my mom, and I asked her. I said, do you want my genuine opinion, or do you just want me to listen? And my mom is so mature and, and in a better space with her personal self that she said yes and we just had a conversation and then the phone call with i love you it didn't have to be nasty ugly well f, f you and come on man and if it got to that then to me it was worth it if my authenticity triggered that it was worth it but it didn't you know because that's how it can go when you're dealing with somebody who is ready to listen and if you are also ready to listen because you might be the problem what if i'm the problem it's only one way to find out by being real. Because then, you know, now it, everything can be exposed. Oh, shit, I'm tripping. <laughs> you know, but I, I can never have that reflection if I'm not ready to be exposed. You know what I'm saying? Because like what I say in the beginning of this conversation, chat, vulnerability is the capacity to be hurt. So the more you embrace being hurt, the more you can grow. Because the opposite of that is defending yourself, protecting yourself, and being right. Because when you're right... Right? We all know people start gaslighting, they be in denial, they start lying to themselves. You know why? Because as long as they're right, they never have to change. You know, as long as they're right, then nothing's wrong. You see what I mean? So this is why people who get narcissistic or develop those coping mechanisms, they are delusional, they, they are stubborn, and they become like that. Because as long as they continue to convince themselves they're right, then they don't have to change anything. That's why. You mean? Bro, no glaze. The minute I eyes you open the eyes, you look. It's unreal. I hope I am, bro. I hope I am. My belief is that, you know, I can say something that means something that makes a difference. And that's what I have to do as a, as a person with my platform on the internet and enjoying life. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's just what I do. You know what I mean?